This will walk you through the upgrade process of SQL Server 2008 R2 to SQL Server 2012. Um, this will not be installation of a new node and will not be an installation of a brand new server instance. As many individuals want to do, this will be a straight upgrade. Just a quick note, you cannot upgrade from SQL Server Express to SQL Server Developer if it is not supported. Uh, having said that, let's talk very quickly about the top five uh, benefits and features of SQL Server 2012 as it relates to 2008. First is always on. Always on kind of revolutionizes the, co the conception of, of what HA means or high availability. Okay, So this treats it uh, all the databases as kind of an availability group. Availability group is a key word as it relates to this. Um, if you are looking for more information regarding that and how that works, definitely type in uh, high availability always on into YouTube and you will find uh, tutorials based on that. Additionally, we have contained databases and this is to resolve the issue of porting databases from dev test to production and having so many issues, i.e. logins and things of that nature individuals not being able to use the copy database wizard and things to that nature. Um, so this, this, this helps alleviate um, that problem. We also have column store indexes which are effectively normal indexes on steroids for lack of digging into it any deeper. And the ability to query the mirror. This is a very 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 big thing because it really allows almost in effect um, to have some load balancing kind of automatically built in because your business intelligence developers and your data data analysts can now query the mirror instead of your production environment um, and still be able to fail over perfectly it's not going to cause any issues you're going to get prompted for your server to restart but um, go right back to the upgrade SQL Server 2012 configuration interface and then you should be prompted with this uh, with this text so just go ahead and click accept the license terms click next now you can't upgrade from SQL Server Express to SQL Server Developer okay um, so I'm going to choose my SQL Server Express I mean my SQL Server Developer sorry you can see the version editions of 10.5 which equate to SQL Server 2008 R2 and we're going to be upgrading to I believe SQL Server um, 11 quote quote so that is the numeric representation of it. The prerequisites you'll see on the lower right hand side is the .NET Framework 4.0, PowerShell, as well as uh, .NET Framework 3.5. And then to be installed, obviously we need to upgrade the Visual Studio shell from 2008 to 2010. And we're going to get the Visual Studio tools for applications 3.0. You'll notice SQL Server Data Tools, i.e. Business Intelligence Development Studio for the uh, 2012 edition and now we do have the ability to change our instance etc etc we're not going to do that and you wouldn't obviously want to do that in a production environment because you want to keep everything the same because we're just doing a straight upgrade as you can see if you read out on the SQL Server directory MSSQL 11 Okay. I'm just going to follow through here. Full text catalogs are ready to be are ready to serve queries faster than with rebuild, blah blah blah. We're just going to choose import. Okay, we've successfully passed all instances. If you were attempting to upgrade an express edition, you would have one failure note and you would not be allowed to proceed. Okay, now we're ready to do the formal upgrade. This process should take approximately 45 minutes to an hour, plus or minus. Um, make sure that you run the SQL Server Upgrade Advisor. Uh, you need to run that to check for uh, the, some minor changes in some of this TSQL code and syntax. Um, that is a primary almost requirement before you update this. Um, it is free, it is easy to run, and you must run this before you run the upgrade. Not doing so will risk your production environment. Um, if you have any questions regarding this, of course you must restart your server after this installation is complete. Uh, if you have any questions, please message me, uh, either publicly or privately, and I'll get back to you. Thanks.